channel Nifty Buddy. Today we will be learning about the rocks in details. In our previous video, we learned about what rocks are and had a look in the rock cycle. For those who have missed to watch my previous video, I will make sure to leave the link in the description box below. Now, moving on to today's video, we will be learning about the three types of rocks. The first type of rock is the igneous rock. This means fiery. As the name suggests, they are formed when the magma cools off. During volcanic eruption, magma pours out of the surface of the earth. This magma when comes out of the surface of the earth, we call it as lava. The lava cools quicker on the earth's surface. Basalt, obsidian, pumice are the rocks formed by this process. They are called as extrusive igneous rocks as they are formed above the surface of the earth's crust. Sometimes magma does not reach the surface of the earth as lava. They cool slowly under the surface of the earth. For example, granite. They are called as intrusive igneous rocks. Now I am going to be showing you an example for igneous rocks and extrusive igneous rocks. So the first example which I am going to be showing you is pumice. Pumite is a light colored igneous rock. Can you see the holes over here? Pumice has holes in them as when the lava cools, the fruit remains trapped in them. So it has these holes or pockets in them and it can float in water. Pumice are used as body scrubbers. They are used to polish furnitures and floors. Granite is an intrusive igneous rock. It is large grain and it is really strong. We use it for constructions, making statues, etc. I have two more igneous rocks to show you. This is Gabbro. G-A-B-B-R-O. And this is Quartz. Q-U-A-R-T-Z. Now let us have a look at the next type of rock. It is sedimentary rock. Sedimentary rocks are formed when the sediments from the eroded mountains are washed away into the water bodies. They form layers and then after a period of time they form sedimentary rocks. For example, sandstone, limestone, shale and conglomerate. This is sandstone. As the name suggests, sandstone is formed when grains of sand get compressed and cemented together. Sandstone is commonly used in constructing buildings. The red fort in India is built in sandstone. This is limestone. It is used to make cements and bricks. The one I am showing you is shell limestone. It is made up of shell. This is shale. Shale is formed when layers of clay and cement harden. It is smooth and mostly used to make cement tiles and bricks. This is conglomerate. Conglomerate looks like pebbles cemented together with minerals. The next type of rock that we will be studying about is called the metamorphic rock. Uh, metamorphose means to change form. Igneous and sedimentary rock form metamorphic rocks. They are formed due to high heat and pressure. This is nice. Can you see nice shining? It shines because it contains a shiny mineral called mica. A sedimentary rock shale has turned into a metamorphic rock slate. The sedimentary rock limestone changes into marble which is a metamorphic rock. So friends, hope you have understood what the different types of rocks are. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel to keep me motivated to make more such fun videos. Till then, let's play, explore, learn and grow together. Bye!